Hi, hello, welcome and welcome back to at another episode on Little Sla YouTube channel. So today in this video we are going to see how to run a JMeter test using a non-GUI mode and also at the end we will see how to extract the report in a, in a HTML format. So this question has come from one of our subscriber asking for a solution because he is facing a different set of issues when he is trying to extract the results in a HTML format. So in this video I will show you how to run a test in non-GUI mode and how to extract the report with multiple graphs in HTML format. So before we move on to the video, this is me, your son Shangam. I welcome you all to our Little Sly YouTube channel. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel, like the video and share the video with your friends. So to do this, we need a command prompt. And let me navigate to the project location. So for that, I'm going to use a cd change directory command. And the, the JMX file which I'm going to use is the JSR223 post processor which we have seen yesterday. The post processor example. So in case if you have missed on how to use the JSR223 post processor video, please check my playlist. And now we will see how to run this. So to run this test, First, so there are two ways to approach this. So first thing is I'm going to show you the first method of doing this. So in the first method, I'm going to run the test separately and then I'm going to run the report generation command. And in the second step, I'm going to run the command in a single step. So in case if you might not need the folder or the result in HTML format, you might not need to run the entire command. And if you need, you can run it in a single command. So I'll show you how to do that. So it starts with jmeter minus n, which tells the test is going to be a non-GUI mode. And then minus t, which tells the specific test plan. So here, as I told you, the test plan is going to be the jmx. So let me copy the file name. Going back to the so here is the file name and then minus l which specifies the file to save the results and then the file is going to be test underscore results dot jdl so let me increase the font sorry let me increase the font for you so here is the command to execute the test so let me execute the test so here I have started the execution so this will create the tree and then it will start to run the standalone test so let's wait for some more seconds for the test to start and we will see the response times So here you can see the average response time of this particular request and then the minimum and then the maximum and here you can see there is zero which is zero percentage so it will go through each and every step of this transaction and at the end we will see the results of how does it come and what are the results so it will go through each and every step in this particular script since let me show you. So here we have got multiple steps for this transaction. So it will go through each and every steps during the test execution. So let's wait for a few more seconds to get the test completed. So now the test, so now the test has got completed. And let me run the second command to create the report. And for that, the command is going to be gmeter. Just scroll it up. So it's going to be jmeter minus g. 
so minus g specifies the jtl file generated during the test run and then the file name is test results.jtl which is created in our previous in the previous in the test actually and then minus o specifies the folder where the html report will be generated and this command will generate an html report in the specified folder and the, and the folder is going to be report underscore folder so now i have given an enter and this has generated a report so now let me go back to my folder so previously this folder was not there in the location and let me open the folder and here i have the index.html and this here is the result so here you can see i've got the response times of the transactions with the samples everything has gone fine i've got zero errors with minimum maximum average of response times and then when i go to the charts i could see multiple charts so the response over time chart here and then the response time percentile over time with 90th 95th and the 99th percentile so in case if i want to highlight a particular value i can even do that and i can see the maximum the median and the minimum value so this gives actually a mix of all the response times and the values so in case if i want to make some changes i can save it here and when you want to export this into a report you can save it as a png and you can get the full resolution picture and then when it comes to the active threads over time so here you can see there's one thread which is active during the entire test and then when it comes to the bytes throughput over time so here you can see the bytes throughput was were initially high and then it went to a steady state and then it later increased it there's a spike in the throughput so it's the bytes are received per second and then the bytes sent per second so when it comes to the latencies over time here you can see for each transaction so what is the latencies that's been experienced during the testing and then finally the connect over time so you can see a different set of graphs and here i don't i do not have any custom graphs so it's just the overtime graph which tells me the start time and the end time and this will be very useful whenever you are running a test because this will get you the start time and end time which actually will tell you the duration of the test so the next part the second section is going to i'm going to do the running of the test and then the creation of the report in a single command so for that what i'm going to do now is i'm going back to the report folder okay let, let's keep it that way and let me enter the command for you so the command is going to be Generator minus n, which is again a non GUI mode, and minus t, which tells the test plan, and then JSR to three underscore post processor underscore two dot gmx, and then minus l, which tells the test results file, and then test results JDL. And now I'm going to combine the command which will create the report. And for that, I'm going to now I'm going to add the command which will run the test. So it's going to be gmeter minus g and then test underscore results dot gtl, which is actually the test results file which we have got here. And now I'm going to create a folder for that i'm going to create a minus o and then i'm going to change the name of the folder which is combined report underscore folder and now i'll give an enter let's wait for a few more seconds and then at the end we can see so even in fact you can see here so so far the folder has not created and it will get created once after the test has got completed so until the test gets completed we will not get the html report that will get generated and it will get it will start to get generated only after the test is completed so it's again the same thing which we have did in the step one so we initially do the test with a single command and then we run a command to create the report which is 
we extract the data or the values from the test underscore results.gtl and through that we are creating the HTML report. Let me just stop the test for you. And by the moment we complete this, we will get the results. So I guess there were some issues in creating it. So let me recreate the command again. So before that, let me stop the test again, sorry. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete the folder so that we can see whether that's getting created during the test. So let me start the test again. So now the test has started. So here I have brought the same folder name to make sure that I'm not making any mistakes while I do as part of any typo. So I'm using the same command here. So I'm creating, a, I'm running a test with the JTL file which will create at, during the testing or at the end of the test. And then at the end, I'm going to create a folder. So let's wait for a few more seconds for the test to get completed. And once it is completed, we will then, okay, let me try to stop the test now. So let me stop the test now and let's see whether the report is getting created. So now let me try again with the same setup but I'm going to just change the file name. And here is the command, let me just bring the command first. So here I have got the same setup, so the jmeter and then minus n minus t along with the file name. So instead of two, I have used three and then the test results.jtl and then the report folder. So just to make sure that the files are getting generated, I'm going to delete the files. So I'm deleting the file and then the report folder. Then I'm going back to the command here. Sorry, and let me run the test. So once I start the test, automatically the test results.jtl file gets created. And then the test gets completed and automatically the report folder has got created. So let me open the report folder. And then in the index.html as we have seen previously, so we have got all the reports under the overtime and in the throughput we can see the hits per second quotes per second for every result we can see here since the result has since the test has got completed very quick so we could not see multiple data but this is how the test runs and we get the report so i think i have demonstrated you on how to run the test separately by running the test and then running the command to create the report and then I have executed the command with both running the test and then creating the report. So with that I come to an end. We will meet with another interesting video in our next session. So until then it's Bhagavad Masan Shimugam and Little Slaw.